Hi, my name is Anastasia Dikterenko. I'm a freelance digital artist, and today I'm going to teach you how to draw the jack-o'-lantern. So first of all, we are going to need to draw an oval. This oval will represent the shape of our future pumpkin. Now we need to draw the ribs of the pumpkin. For that, you're going to need to draw more ovals. Start with the center one. It's going to be the biggest one among all. Draw a couple more ovals on the sides of the middle one. They're also going to be a bit smaller. And once again, attach a couple more, even smaller ovals. Now, let's get to some details of the pumpkin. Draw a wonky triangular on top of your pumpkin. From the base of your triangular, draw some squiggly lines to show tendrils. Also, draw the back ribs using small curves. It's gonna give your pumpkin a three-dimensional effect. It's time to turn it into jack-o'-lantern. Using the large central oval as a guide, draw three triangle shapes, one for your nose and two for your eyes. Well, for the eyes of your pumpkin. Give your jack-o'-lantern a big nice smile. Give him a couple jagged teeth or the whole smile. It depends on his dentist. Erase all the extra lines. And here I've also removed a bit of weight from the rib lines. To create some depth in your jack-o'-lantern, draw inside lines parallel to the lower lines in your face. You can also add a little extra line weight to the outside lines. Or make the inside lines super thin. It's time to add some color. You can make your jack-o'-lantern any color you want. I'm gonna show you two traditional ways of coloring it. So first of all, your jack-o'-lantern can be illuminated from the inside out. For this case, I choose the dark orange, almost brown color for the base. I'm also gonna need two more colors. The yellow one is for the light source inside of the pumpkin and light orange for the illuminated flesh of the pumpkin. I've also added a glow to the eyes, nose and mouth of the jack-o'-lantern with a bright yellow color. And our glowy nighttime version is ready. For the daytime jack-o'-lantern, you're gonna need to take an orange as a base color, color the inside of the eyes with a black color and color the flesh of the pumpkin with light orange. So these are two very traditional ways of coloring the jack-o'-lantern. But you can be as creative as you want. Have fun with it! Draw some spooky background for your jack-o'-lantern to add some more atmosphere. Enjoy the process and create tons of cool, spooky or cute jack-o'-lanterns. Congratulations, you did it! I can't wait to see your jack-o'-lantern drawings on DeviantArt.